be free, the 54 countries. We come to the United Nations, it's ceremonial. Every year, September, we are there. We pay lots of money to go there. And to the General Assembly, we make speeches, we go back home year in, year out. But the bosses in the Security Council say, you shall never have the powers that we have as permanent members. And we have asked and asked and asked. And asked and asked. Reform, reform the Security Council. I want to tell you, Mr. Barki Moon, you are a good man. <laughs> you are a good man. But of course, we can't make you a fighter. That's not what your mission was. We will fight a fight for our own identity, for our own integrity and personality as Africans. We are Africans. Hi everyone, welcome all in this moment where we turn our attention into a critical demand gaining momentum across the continent of Africa, the call for Africa to secure two permanent seats on the United Nations Security Council. So my dear kings and queens, let me uh, tell you something. Uh, you know Mali, Niger and Burkina Faso expelled France troops and all of us we know that France has veto power in the UN Security Council. If these countries are going to be the permanent member of the UN Security Council, do you think France will accept? And we know France has veto power. Okay, Niger. Niger has expelled um, U.S. military base in our territory. Do you think America will accept Niger to be a permanent member with veto power in the U.N. Security Council? Okay. Mali. Maybe Mali. Okay, maybe Mali is going to be the permanent member on the UN Security Council. Do you think France will accept it? So you can see that it is a difficult journey. Africa, we are divided into Francophone, Anglophone. So uh, those who colonized has still they have influence in our continent. Francophone, France has influence, Anglophone, UK has influence. So if these countries have trouble with their former colonies and these former colonies are the ones who have veto power, automatically they will not accept it. They will use their veto power to reject these members all these countries to be a permanent member in the UN Security Council. Which mode we are going to use as Africa? Okay, maybe we are going to attain two permanent seats in the UN Security Council. Which mode we are going to use? If you choose country from Francophone, maybe Cote d'Ivoire, it will be under the influence of France. So, if we choose Anglophone countries, let's say Zambia or any country that is uh, under a British colony, 
automatically UK will have influence. So do you see how we are so divided? And recently Mali, Nigeria and Burkina Faso are the best friend, friends of Russia. So automatically America will not accept Russia to have a friend in the UN Security Council. Another friends, of course. So which mode we are going to use to make sure that Africa um, we are going to have these two permanent seats in the UN Security Council. You see how it is difficult. You see how it is difficult. But when I shared the, my views concerning this issue uh, the day before yesterday, I see a lot of comments from my dear brothers and sisters around the globe. Some of them said two seats is not enough. Others say maybe we need four. But I suggested that we need only one as Africa, not as individual countries. Because, you know, what is facing Africa today is divisions. That's why we don't have continental free trade area. We don't have free movement of people and goods. You see, we don't have peace in this continent. Why? We are so divided. We work individually. Countries are working individually. We have this jihadist destabilization in your continent. Why? Because we are divided so that we cannot work together. We cannot help each other. So even though we can get 10 seats, if we remain divided like this, those 10 seats is going to contradict us. So we need only one seat for the United Africa. So before going out there, let us come together as Africa. Let us say we need to have one army. When the UN Security Council want soldiers from Africa, we have to send African army to fight anywhere. You see, look at the United States of America, how they are doing. All those countries who are in the Security Council permanent, who have a permanent seat in the UN Security Council. They are so powerful. Why? Many of them are united. If you talk about the United Kingdom, it is united. United of Kingdoms. If you talk about the United States of America, it is the United of States. You talk about Russia. Russia means Union, Soviet Union. Union, it means united. You see? France. China, you see, but Africa, we go as Burundi. Do you, do you agree that Burundi will get the permanent seat in the UN Security Council? We go as Djibouti in the UN Security Council, that Djibouti is a permanent member of the UN Security Council. You left Nigeria, Egypt, and South Africa. So that's why I'm, I'm saying we need to break these borders. We need to break these borders to unite, to come together, to form a single army, to have a single currency, to have a common market. Then if they don't give us the permanent seat in the UN Security Council, you say, okay, no problem. We are going to do business ourselves. We are going to, we have our own currencies, we have our own army that can fight uh, insurgents and the, the, jihadists and terrorists who are destabilizing our continent so we don't need anyone to help us look china who is helping china to to stabilize china who is helping united states of america you see uk from there we can automatically get a permanent seat in the un security council but by begging no one will give us i'm telling you the truth i'm telling you the truth no one will give two permanent seats in the UN Security Council with the veto for free without doing anything. What are we offering to the world? We offer raw materials. You know, if we say we are not going to do business or to export our minerals into law forms until you accept our demand of having a permanent member in the UN Security Council as Africa.
they will accept. But do you think Burundi is going to demand the UN Security Council? What America is going to look for Burundi? Or Russia? We are praying, we are praying. So, our unit is very, very important. We need to unite, we need to come together, we need to form one army to have a single currency, common market, one president, and then we can send him to represent us as Africa. By doing so, I'm sure Africa will attain a seat, permanent seat. But without doing so, I don't believe if these countries will accept Africa to be or to have two uh, permanent seat in the UN Security Council with veto power because Africa we are relying on West or East we are not our own so before going outside let us be Africans then you can join with others and you can give them our demands because Africans we, we don't uh, we don't have a shape we, we looks like Westy sometimes we looks like Eastern uh, we don't have a permanent shape we looks like amoeba so let us be Africans so uh, my dear kings and queens um, as we know for decades uh, the structure of the Security Council has been criticized for lack of representation, particularly from the global south, uh, Africa. Despite being the second most populous continent and home of uh, 54 uh, UN member states, has no permanent representation on the UN Security Council. This has led to growing call for reform, which Africa nations demanding a more equitable role in global uh, decision uh, making. Uh, the United Nations Security Council, established in 1945, is one of the six principal organs of the UN tasked with maintaining international peace and security. Um, the Council is composed of 15 uh, members, including five permanent members. And these five permanent members are China, France, Russia, the United Kingdom, and United States of America, each with a veto power. So the remaining 10 seats are non-permanent, rota rotating among member states every two years. So the question is, Will these uh, five permanent members agree Africa to attain two seats in the UN Security Council? Do you see America is going to accept that Africa is going to attain two permanent seats in the UN? France is going to accept it? China may be, China has no problem, I, I'm sure China can accept Africa to have, a perma, to have two seats uh, in the UN Security Council permanent. Russia, I, I have no problem with Russia. My question, will the United Kingdom, UK, France, and the United States of America accept? Because these countries have veto power. So even all the world can accept Africa to have two permanent uh, member uh, member in the UN Security Council. If one member, US or UK or France, one of them, if it put veto to re reject, nothing will happen. So if you, the way you look the continent of Africa, the way Africa we are so divided into geopolitical, do you see Africa, we are going to get this, all these uh, two seats. That's why when I shared my video concerning about this issue uh, the day before, uh, yesterday, I see a lot of comments from our brothers and sisters around the world. Some of them saying that uh, we need more than two seats. Uh, but I think we don't need 
uh, many seats, we need only one seat. And we need only one seat if Africa were united. Because the, the way you see Africa, Africa were divided into Anglophone, Francophone, Lusophone. You see, Anglophone are those countries, uh, the former colonies of United Kingdom. So automatically, United Kingdom has influence to these countries. So if you get a member state from these countries, it means you are increasing the influence of United Kingdom. We have Francophone. All of us are familiar with the influence of France. Even money, their money reserves are, are stored in Paris Bank. You see, France is responsible for everything in these Francophone countries. So if you, uh, maybe you appoint one country from Francophone to be or two, to be the member, a uh, permanent member of the UN Security Council. It means we're giving France the power. You see, if you choose, listen to you see the countries such as Burkina Faso, Mali, and Indonesia, these countries decided to look uh, outside of the West. They have decided to find another path, not to look on the West. Automatically, the West has ha, a hunger this time. Burkina Faso, Mali, Niger restricted their uranium. So America, France, and uh, UK are not happy with these countries. So if you say you are going to give Burkina Faso the permanent seat in the UN Security Council, or Niger, or Mali, automatically, US will reject it. France will reject it with veto. UK will reject with veto. You see, what we need to do is to come together first. That's why I, I think, and I shared this uh, in uh, the video that I shared concerning about the issue of uh, UN Security Council uh, from the speech of Mahatma Bio, the president of Sierra Leone. I said, and I continue to say, Africa, we need only one seat. We don't need many seats. We need only one seat, but the seat that we attain as Africa, not as these countries, because we are so divided. So first of all, we need to break these borders, to come together, to form a united Africa, the way America is doing. America is states. America has so many states. That's why you see it is called United States, even UK. United Kingdom, so many kingdoms, Scotland, Wales, and others, uh, England. So, but they came together and united, and they go out there as a united. Despite these countries, they have their own constitutions and other issues, but they're so united. So, before going out there and demanding two seats, five seats, let us first come together and unite as Africa. From there we can go to the UN. You know, I have doing my own research. These countries are so powerful. They own nuclear. They own technologies. Let us ask yourself, Africa, what are we going to offer? What are we going to offer? Because we are so divided, we offer nothing. But if we can come together and unite, we can do something. And you can be respected. It is not, it is not going to be easy for Africa to attain uh, the, those two seats. I'm sure America, France, or oh, uh, United Kingdom, China. Uh, China has no problem, of course. Even Russia has no problem. But these two, three countries, they are not going to accept it because they know very well. But with the veto. They know how to control Africa. So what I suggest, first of all, let us Africa come together, united. After united, let us find our own technology, whether in the military or in wherever in systems, then let us demand. Of course, they will give themselves the, the, the seat. We don't need to demand. 
if we come together, we unite and say, no natural resources are going out, no export of our low minerals automatically will be invited to be the member of the UN Security Council. Instead of what we are doing today, we are begging. My friend, no one is going to give this opportunity for free. Because Africa, we have made the low material supplier. So a supplier cannot be strong. You need a weak supplier so that you can control a supplier. Low material supplier. You know, that's why you see the end product is at high price. Why? Because we are weak. But if we, are, we come together, we will be strong. And from there we can decide that, okay, you don't want to give us permanent seat in the UN Security Council. Okay, remain with your seat. We are not going to do business with you. We have our own currents. We have our own army. We can make sure that we can bring peace in your continent if there's jihadist or anything that is destabilizing us we are ready to tackle them so we are not going to shake you see that's why i'm saying we don't need so many seats we don't need two or four whatever you can say even if we can get five of course no one can give us because even one it is difficult that's why i'm asking what do you think who will get those seats if you give nigeria burkina faso will react if you give burkina faso ghana will react if you give kenya uganda will react if you give south africa zambia will react so who is going to give this or to to, to take this or to have this opportunity or we are going to have rotations that we have two permanent seats in the UN but members are rotating for two years and at which model and who will plan this model we Africans or the United Nations so that's why I'm saying it will be difficult for Africa to have these two permanent seats I'm here I'm sitting here save this video it will be difficult not easy not easy, not easy. We have nothing to offer. We can, if we want to be respected, let us first unite. Let us first unite. It will take another 50 years without this permanent seat in the UN Security Council. And what they are doing now is how to please Africa. These five members, they are trying to think how they are going to please Africa. Look in the Southern America. Have no permanent member, I think. So, do you see Africa will be considered very easy? What are we offer to this world? apart from raw materials. We need to offer technology. We need to offer power. We, can't, we, we, we offer nothing because we are not united. So if we are so united, we can offer money power. We know we are going there as Africa. We are going out as Africa. Not as Nigeria, not as Burkina Faso, not as um, Liberia, 